What's up guys, Quaglet here. Figured I'd do a short little funny video on how you catch scammers in the act. So, one of the most popular scams is like, can you put ancient on my armor or something or like on my neck around chest plate? I need collateral. And so, you give them the collateral and then you reforge it and everything and they scam you. Like they, when you trade it back to them, they try to give you like less coins or something like that. So, pretty much a way to catch these scammers is that a lot of them have the requirement to put ancient on their armor so like pretty much they, they can put like ancient in their armor yet they're still trying to get you to do it so there's this guy in chat up a little bit let me find him need someone to put ancient on my necrons chest weight need collat so if i go over to this he has his skill api off on this profile but it looks like he has mining 42 so we can be pretty sure that this guy is trying to scam. So now, now we just give it a try. Plus P, X, Y, Y, Z, C, R, V, Z, Y. But I'm pretty certain that he's not a very, very legitimate player. I can put the reforge on. All right, let's see what this guy says. Uh, swarp dungeons. Oh wait. How much? How much collapse? Hundred mil. <laughs> Neck run chest plate, my guy. Master stars. Eight star. Three master stars. Let me check price. Okay, that's that's pretty fair. Sure sounds good. Hmm. <clears throat> Hundred mil. Necron chest plate, precursor gear, and two mil. Alright. I haven't been scammed, have I? I have been scammed. So yeah, uh, obviously don't go through with the trade like I did. I just did it so then I could show you guys how it actually works and that yes, they are trying to scam you. So yeah, if you see someone in chat asking to reforge and you feel like being nice and reforging, make sure they don't have the requirement before doing it. I notice a lot of people don't do that and just reforge it for them. So yeah, just make sure that you're actually reforging for someone who needs it to be reforged. Always check the scammer lists too. You can check like Skybox Z. I think they have scammer lists and stuff like that. But yeah, um, be safe and peace.